I see that it is man-made or it should be man-made because, uh, you know, I don't see any reason currently at least for natural, uh, you know, factors to contribute to this particular incident. It could perhaps be a conspiracy because it's too much of a coincidence that when there is a, a heightened campaign to save the forest and when they do not have the permission, when they've almost lost the battle in, uh, amongst the citizens or in the courts is when suddenly we see fire which has actually destroyed everything. of infrastructure projects, including the metro project that we're talking about, including Raheja and a couple of other builders that, that, that have been developing, redeveloping uh, those areas. All of it together has an impact, has poses a deep threat on the entire Sanjay Gandhi National Park or also on the entire RA area in that sense. The first question is, is government interested in conservation or is it interested in doing more and more construction all over the place? There's talk about tunnels, there's talk about cable cars, there's talk about road widening, there's a metro. So if you look at all these things in totality, the national park is facing a very bleak future. The Chief Minister Fadnavis also was talking about how it's, you know, the infrastructure is going to be a biggest push for him in, in, in the new year. Looking at also a lot of, lot of environmentalists have been saying that that also means the CRZ violations that will take place, forest rights violations that will take place. When you actually have a government that really looks at all of this, everything, governance from the lens of infrastructure and not from the lens of public good and public health, we will have these problems. And that's why I think the government needs to rethink and relook and revisit it's, it's a strategy of development and governance.